okay so first law is also known as law of orbits which says that all the planets move in elliptical orbit with the sun situated at one of the foci of an ellipse isn't it now see, yes sir if i am taking the earth right now say for example this is say for example some earth this earth is been revolving around the sun the distance from between this one and this one is say for example r1 okay when the sun comes to this position now the distance of this one from here to here will become for me how much r2 on agar the distance of from this center of this one center of an ellipse to the distance of your sun that is known as of your a into e e is known as what eccentricity i hope you are a fair dear related to your ellipse part of relation if this earth is very nearer to the sun that is this distance is known as a fair beta perihelion if it is very far it is known as of your aphelion or also known as of what apogee very important for your mains examination beta when the earth is nearer to the sun this is known as of your what beta perihelion perihelion isn't it or perihelion if i am taking the earth is say for example larger distance this is known as of what beta apogee or also known as what aphelion also known as aphelion is it clear yes sir is it now tell me the distance which is been closest to the sun this distance r1 is equal to how much beta can you tell me r1 is the closest to distance beta so this r1 will be equal to your a into 1 minus e i hope that ellipse has been completed that is the reason i am writing directly the relation otherwise we need to go for the proof of this one Rough idea. Which is completed. Is it the same way? R two, R two will be equal to how much beta? A plus of your e. That is nothing but a common. It will be one plus of your e. R is nothing but of your farthest distance, which is known as of your aphelion or apogee, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Sure. Now, what is the distance between this R one and R two beta? R one and R two will be equal to how much beta? This R one plus R two will be equal to this a plus e. That is two a. So can I say that R one plus of your R two will be equal to two times of your A beta? Yes, sir. isn't it? Now we also know this distance from the basic mathematics. B is equal to your under root of your R one into R two. What is B? Can you tell me? What is B beta? Root of your R one and R two is known as what? Root of your R one and R two is nothing but equal to me for me what beta? The maximum distance is known as a. The smallest distance is known as semi-minor axis. That will be equal to how much for me? B. Semi-major axis is your a. Semi-minor axis is nothing but of your b. So b will be equal to under root of your a one and a two, and a will be equal to your r one plus r two divided by your two part equations. You don't do good to bad one. Okay. Yes, sir. Also, this is the basic the basic knowledge. Here. So, if I am talking about your a, a will be equal to your r one plus r two divided by two, and b will be equal to your under root of your r one into your r two part of relation. Is that clear? Now, if I am asking you the ratio of your r one by r two, can you tell me what will be the answer, brother? R one by your r two will be equal to how much? What is r one? R one is the thing. A minus c by a minus c by minus c divided by your this one is your a into your one plus c. Like in the problem, you may be asking you the perihelion distance divided by apogee distance. Is it our nearer distance by your farther distance ratio is equal to how much in terms of eccentricity? So R one by R two will be equal to how much beta? One minus e divided one. by your one plus one plus c. Relation very very important relation beta. So I'm writing here R one by your R two will be equal to your one minus e divided by your one plus of your e part. Even me, once you do the derivations, now you need to keep it in your mind while doing the numericals beta, because you can't go and do, derive it when the examination holds. So the ratio of the R1 and R2 in terms of an eccentricity is nothing but how much for me? One minus e divided by your one plus one plus e. Relation clear for everyone? Yes, sir. Do I need to do do the derivation of this one beta? B is equal to root of your R1 and R2. I mean, achieve one tower. Oh, this one is sir. Only the other idea on the other. So I'm not doing that one tough idea. Okay, na? Yes, sir. Sure. Let me take one small question related to this one. See, say for example, the largest distance, the largest and shortest distance. Take care of paper and try to see whether you can do it or not. Shortest distance of Earth, of Earth from the Sun, of Earth from the Sun, are say for example R one and R two. Okay. So 
its distance its distance from the sun its distance from the sun when it is when it is at perpendicular at perpendicular to the major axis perpendicular to the major axis of the orbit major axis of the orbit from sun is okay i'll give the options for this one you see try to read the question very good question beta first option is r1 plus r2 divided by your four second option is r1 plus of your r2 divided by your r1 minus r2 and third option is two times of r1 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 and fourth option is r1 plus r2 divided by 3 so try to understand the question first the largest and shortest distance the largest and shortest distance of earth from the sun are r1 and r2 okay and its distance from the sun when it is perpendicular to the major axis perpendicular to the major axis that means if i am taking the shape of this one like this okay now tell where is earth and where is your um, uh, this one beta like say for example this is your position of your sun sun and this earth one is about earth this is perpendicular to this one beta yes this is your perpendicular yes, distance right now so what is your r1 can you tell me r1 is nothing but what largest distance largest distance is known as what apogee and r2 will be equal to how much beta r2 is nothing but shortest distance there is known as your peri again now now tell me what will be the relation for this one beta this one is exactly perpendicular to this one so the distance between these two is how much i don't know isn't it so distance between them will be given me right now about beta ellipse life i am talking about the relation x will be equal to your half into your i can take it lattice vector yes yes sir Equal to your half into so lattice rectum will be equal to two into b square divided by your e. How much is that? So x value will be equal to how much beta? X value will be equal to your b square oh, divided by e. E two, e two will be equal to. That means b value how much we got? B value already we know under root of root over r one r two. So I can write now write the relation. Two a value is how much beta? Two a is equal to just now I told you r r one plus r two. So a value will be equal to your r one plus r two divided by two, isn't it? So I need the value yes. of your x, isn't it? Are you doing that? Other is no. Right now, what is asking the question right now? You see, so when it is perpendicular to the major axis of the orbit, distance from the sun, the largest and as well as the shortest distance of the Earth from the sun are given as of your r one and as well as of r two. Is distance from the sun when it is perpendicular to the major axis? When it is perpendicular to the major axis? Of the orbit, and this one, say for example, of your x, the x is equal to x value is equal to b square divided by a. I know the value of b. I know the value of your p. So now, can I get the value of your x beta? So therefore, x value will become how much for me beta? B square. B value is how much for me? R one R two. This will become for me R one R two divided by R one R two by R one plus R plus R two divided by two. So what will be the answer? Two times of your R one R two divided by your R one R one plus R. Yeah. Yes. What is the answer? I can write third one. Very very important, beta. Very 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 important. Okay, ne? The last question is compulsory. Good to be able to call, isn't it? So we need yeah. to remember this one. Very very important relation. So lattice rectum is nothing but what, beta? What do you what do you mean by the lattice rectum? Can you tell me? This distance is nothing but a few lattice rectum. That is nothing but a few x. X is equal to how much? Tell me. X is equal to your two into b square divided by your e. What is that? Earth perpendicular to major axis, so no, but distance from sun to earth. Are they correct? Yeah, already? exactly. Isn't it? Okay. So sun from the center will be equal to how much distance? Beta a into e. And the other. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Yes, sir. So I'm writing this relation. R one is of your peri degree. That is a into one minus e. R two value will be equal to your a into one plus b. And the sun from the center is how much distance? And a into e. Ask me, Thomas. So b square will be equal to how much? For me, a square into one minus e square. So lattice rectum will be equal to how much? Beta. I'll write here. Write now. See. So lat lattice rectum will be equal to two into b square. B square yeah. by this will be yeah. so major axis will be two a yeah. minor axis will be equal to two b. And the other yes sir. major axis yes, sir. will be equal to two a and minor axis 
will be equal to 2v. Rep third shift exam on the a papers go to Sari Miru gravitation or thermodynamics questions say the Nostra compulsory attention with the Nature's Kondi. Yes, okay, yes, sir. You need to attend them at any cost, basically. Okay, now, yes, yes, sir. One more very important relations. I'm just keeping this one. I'm not deriving this one. Velocity of your planets. Velocity of your planet at your perigee and apogee. Okay. Very important. Derivation results in an IV. General guy class like them on a class like compulsory derived some, but right now it is not much required. So if I'm talking about the velocity at your apogee and as well as of your ferry, that means if I'm taking this one as of your this one and this one is your semi-major axis, and this one is your semi-minor axis. So somewhere here is say for example your sun. So this is your say for example sun, the velocity of your earth, somewhere here the earth is revolving on Kona. So this is say for example V1 here and when it comes here, this will be the velocity V2. So when it is far, this one is known as what beta? Apogee. When it is near, it is known as what your? Perigee. Perigee. And the distance from here to here is known as semi-major axis, so that will be A. So velocity is V1 is equals to under root of your capital G, capital M divided by A. For both of them, the formula is same beta. I'm trying to help you out how to remember this one. Because if you go behind the derivation, it will waste unnecessarily one and a half hour of your time mostly behind this one. This will be equal to G into capital M divided by A. Both of them same. So here it will be equal to your 1 plus E divided by 1 minus E. Ikadadani ulta. 1 minus E divided by your 1 place. That's it. Okay, na? Yes. Okay, sir. Formula based. Formula based final questions which I go like over the direct to formula you got go. This you can write it as an answer so that it will help you out for writing the answer for this. Okay, na? Yes, sir. Any doubt in this one? No, sir. This is very important formula you need to write better. Velocity at your perigee and velocity at your apogee. In derivations, go to last year with JC on Intala, we know on Intal to Dandi. Like about the word of Prakasan, the derivation allows an awesome model. I told you everything nectar. So, the general Gocha model questions, Ilanti was the basic Alga. Yamana Ilanti ellipse pana conditions pana stay. These are the ellipse condition formulas which you should always remember in your mind. So, once you know this basic knowledge, you can do any type of equations related to your K plus class part equation. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Total energy is having a patient with the relations, sir? Yes, sir. yes. What is the total energy of the satellite formula, beta? Only energy of the satellite formula, sir? What is the energy of a satellite? U is equal to your minus of capital G, capital M, small m, divided by your R. R, yes. So U is equal to minus of your capital G, capital M, small m, divided by your R part. R. Total energy will be equal to much beta minus of capital G capital M small m divided by 2R. In the two weight good total energy is 2 this is good potential energy. Potential energy. Relations you need to remember for this one. Okay, now? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. In the numerical session, they bound a demo. I would have been got some workload with you. Our collection would have been the questions. Questions are not questions from which in the JP Chinavi. And Kosa time this in a blue try to do this one with. Yes, sir. Dindra the Chapter Jarnan Primula. Sir, sir, this is. Optics have been there. Optics maku face yes, chelo revision lag chesta anna sir. Masters ni adi kam sir. Ante chesta anna. Kala madhika. Ah chesta anna sir. Leza anna kundi wave optics hai te ipto kudu yate petto na neno. So ray optics guda fast structure adi petto na anna kundi. Unnoot se te ipto revision noot se te undi. Adi guda sir pumpis ta anna fast revision anna. Matam naan la cover up ayam nai. Unni charge pe dappa book mandal petko na metal mandal petko na guda maximum work out ayipotu naan pay. 
ఫస్ట్ ఇయర్ లో నాకు తెలిసి ఒకసారి రివైజింగ్ చేసుకుంటే మనము కన్స్టెంట్స్ నుంచి వర్క్ పవర్ ఎనర్జీ అప్లికేషన్ వర్క్ ఎనర్జీ థియరమ్ అప్లికేషన్ మొమెంటమ్ కన్జర్వేషన్ అప్లికేషన్ అండ్ రొటేషన్ మెకానిక్స్ ఇవి కంబైనేషన్ లో కొంచెం రివైజన్ చేసుకుంటే బెటర్ ఏమనిపిస్తుంది అక్కడికి ఎందుకంటే కనెక్టివిటీ క్వశ్చన్స్ కదా ఇవన్నీ న్యూటన్స్ లాస్ లో కన్స్టెంట్స్ కొంచెం మసాజ్ చేసేసుకుని వెజ్ కన్స్టెంట్ పుల్లీ కన్స్టెంట్స్ మొబైల్ పుల్లీ కన్స్టెంట్స్ అండ్ వెజ్ కన్స్టెంట్స్ విత్ పుల్లీ అవి ఒకసారి కంప్లీట్ చేసేసుకొని దెన్ యూ కెన్ డైరెక్ట్లీ ఎంటర్ టు ద అప్లికేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ యూర్ మొమెంటమ్ కన్జర్వేషన్ ఇలాస్టిక్ ఇన్ ఇలాస్టిక్ కొంచెం మంచి లెవెల్ ఆఫ్ యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఒకసారి చేసుకుంటే మనకి థర్డ్ ఫేజ్ లో ఎగ్జామ్ జరిగేటప్పుడు కూడా మనకి క్లారిటీ వచ్చేస్తుంది మళ్ళీ క్వశ్చన్స్ బేసిక్ లెవెల్ గా ఉంటున్నాయా లేకపోతే ఈజ్ గోయింగ్ ఇన్ హయ్యర్ లెవెల్ అని కోవిడ్ సిచ్యువేషన్ కాబట్టి ఈవెన్ ఫర్ యూ హీ విల్ నాట్ గో ఫర్ హయ్యర్ లెవెల్స్ నో నీడ్ ఆఫ్ వేస్టింగ్ టైమ్ ఆఫ్ ది బ్యాండ్ హయ్యర్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అనే నా ఇంటెన్షన్ బట్ స్టిల్ దిస్ టైమ్ ఒకవేళ వాడు ఈజీ క్వశ్చన్ ఇచ్చి ఫామ్ లెవెల్స్ ఇచ్చాడు అనుకో దెన్ యువర్ కాన్సన్ట్రేషన్ షుడ్ ఓన్లీ బి ఆన్ యువర్ ప్రాక్టీస్ 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 అవునా కదా సో ఇఫ్ ఈస్ గివింగ్ ఎ వెరీ ఇన్నోవేటివ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ న్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఇస్తున్నాడు అడ్వాన్స్ లాగా అనుకుంటేనే దెన్ అగైన్ యూ నీ టు గో ఫర్ ద టెప్ otherwise this only thing is you, the more you practice the more you memorize the formulas this to this type of an examinations you can crack it very easily without knowing the formulas cracking this type of an examinations will be a little bit of a difficulty like what they ibbanda ipothu nanthe inge em ledhu enta ona kada yes sir yes sir i told you how to calculate the gravitation field for any arc of a circle beta any arc of a circle cheppan kada cheppar sir అవునా కదా క్యాపిటల్ జి క్యాపిటల్ ఎం ఆర్ స్క్వేర్ ఇంటూ ఫైవ్ ఇంటూ టూ సైన్ ఫైవ్ బై టూ ఫైవ్ షుడ్ బి సైన్ థీటా బై థీటా 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 షుడ్ బి టేకన్ ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ యువర్ రేడియన్స్ ఎస్ సార్ డన్ సార్ ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఆల్ ది మోడల్స్ ఈస్ బీన్ డన్ ఇన్ దిస్ వన్ ఐ డోంట్ థింక్ ఎనీథింగ్ ఈస్ బీన్ లెఫ్ట్ అవుట్ ఇంకేమన్నా మీకు గుర్తొస్తుంటే నాకు లెట్ మీ నో ఐ ట్రై టు వర్క్ ఇట్ అవుట్ ఆన్ దట్ బట్ నైంటీ పర్సెంట్ ఆల్ ద కాన్సెప్ట్ రిలేటెడ్ టు ది గ్రావిటేషన్ ఐ హ్ బి ఆల్రెడీ డన్ ఫర్ యూ బేసికల్ ఎస్ సార్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ మీ దగ్గర ఏమన్నా అసైన్మెంట్ ఉందా సార్ మీరు డిపిపి పంపించారు కదా డిపిపి పంపించిన నేటికి అన్ని చేసి ఉన్నాయి కదా ఐ థింక్ యు కెన్ డూ ఇట్ అవుట్ ద బేసికల్ టైం దొరికినప్పుడు అవి కాకుండా ఏదన్నా వర్కింగ్ లేనివి పెడితే మనం కొంచెం వర్క్అవుట్ చేసుకోవచ్చు అంటే డిపిపి ఎన్ని పంపించారు మీకు 3 పంపించారు సార్ చేశారు అయినా చేశారు ఫస్ట్ ది అయిపోయింది సార్ ఎస్ సార్ ఫస్ట్ ఒక 80% అయింది సార్ డిక్రీస్ in value in value of free fall of acceleration acceleration g acceleration g for a particle when it is lifted 
from earth surface when it is lifted from your earth surface to an elevation to an elevation of h and i am taking here h is much much lesser than of your r come on tell me the answer क्वेश्चन अर्थम मैथ्स पार्टे चाहे वर के मैथ्स पार्टे दीं रिशन चपड़ना मुझे Height less than height is much less than of R. G into one minus two H by R. Okay, so G at a certain height form line, then G at a certain height form line is G into your when H is much much lesser than R. That means one minus of your two H divided by your R. Two H plus. Yes. Now on the surface when H is very very it's the find the fractional decrease in the value of the free fall of acceleration due to gravity for a particle when it is lifted from the earth surface into an elevation of your H that means you are lifting a body like this okay and you are lifting a body from the surface you couldn't you could work with the radius equal okay so you couldn't you could work with the center you couldn't you could work with the radius R From surface, and take a little body on the. You got a body no acceleration due to gravity. And then, no small g is equals to capital G capital M divided by r square. Yes, sir. Now, when you take this body to somewhere here right now, it means from here to here, this is your h. Now, this h is much much lesser than r. That means g at at a certain height, g dash will be equal to g again. Yes, sir. जीएम इंटू आर प्लस हॉल स्क्वे अना कदा इकडी इकडर की डिस्टेंस मन को स्मोल आर कदा अंत जी डेस्ट मन को जी इंटू कैपिटल एम बैर आर प्लस वेरी स्मोल कदा Yes, sir. On that, the approach, the relation, I mean, but the man, who small g is equals to what I can be written there. G dash. So this is your capital G capital M divided by R square. The in fraction, I do that. Differentiate again. Wait for it. So in the differentiation, I do some jump on that. So differentiation. Dt by dt. G and capital M is your constant. So it is one by R square, and this will become for me minus of your R cube into your dr. Then, right? Yes, sir. So this is my first one. And this is my second one. Is asking what in the problem? Find the fraction and the second equation divided by first equation. So this is your dg divided by your g is equal to your. And that one is my capital G capital M and then local capital R square will be put in there. So this will become for me how much? Two times minus r. E into your r divided by your r. And that is that. Yes, sir. Isn't it? Me rakha two right item dialects differentiate this. Two right item sorry. Yes. Differentiation लेको बता दूँगा बस और एक बार नहीं ना सेशन राइट. This one is your two times of capital G capital M by your R cube बता. So ratio of that one इंटू इस दिन ला capital G capital M gets cancer R cube plus the value बोलते हैं तो two into delta R by your R divided into your R part equation. Okay ना. So what is dr? I can write better. Dr is nothing but what? Very small value of R गधा. Very small yes. value of R इंटू हिच्चे गधा. So I can write this yes. one as minus of two h divided by r. Can I write like this? Isn't it? So fractional will be equal to how much? Or dg by d will be equal to minus of your two h divided by your capital R. Clear? Yes. With the formula. So an easy problem to write. Easy one. Because the condition of sir, height is height is less than r. Na puru adi body earth the low plane dalga sir. Height is much much lesser than of your r. And the surface of the height you can write the first one more. Like say it may be a one kilometer, two kilometers. Radius of Earth is how much? One thousand six thousand four hundred kilometers. Yes, sir. And the dan ki comparatively taking one kilometer is very small gada. That is negligible. Okay. Like IIT Bombay and IIT Hyderabad. With respect to distance, both of them are point masses gada. 
yes you're visiting the iit bombay it is a campus of like 4 acres or 5 acres if you are if you are visiting the campus of an iit bombay iit hyderabad it is also a campus of like some 10 to 12 acres 10 to 12 acres is very huge for you if you are staying in that one ona kada if your friend is staying in iit bombay if you are in the iit hyderabad with respect to distance like 5 acres is very small compared to 1000 kilometers ona kada the distance between iit hyderabad like so hyderabad to bombay is like almost roughly 1000 kilometers A thousand kilometers. Ki compare is one. The IIT Madras, or sorry, IIT Hyderabad is like say two acres, four acres, or maybe a ten acres, and hardly one kilometer or two kilometer. Ona kada? Yes. Sir. Even if I'm taking ten kilometers, also radius, isn't it? In front of that thousand, the ten is very very small. So that is the reason if you are going from the surface of the earth at a certain height edge, which is much 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 lesser than Earth. Generally, radius of Earth is six thousand four hundred kilometers. Even if you go four hundred kilometers above the surface of the Earth, I can neglect in front of six thousand four hundred. Is it? I can't neglect if I'm going above like two thousand and three thousand kilometers. Ona kada? Yes, sir. Is it? Ado mein da? Ado mein. This one is also one good application. Just try to understand the concept and logic behind this one, beta. The answer question is regular question, right? So try to understand the question language that will help you out. The question says for me, a body is projected body is projected vertically vertically above from the earth surface above from the earth surface. above from your earth surface with velocity with velocity k times of your v not with velocity how much for me beta k times of your v not for v not clear yes sir yeah okay oh no What should we find, sir? K value? No, just a minute. Just lost the question. Yeah. So what I'm telling, the body is being projected vertically above the Earth's surface with a velocity of your k times of your v naught, where v naught is your escape velocity, beta. Where v naught is your escape velocity. Okay. And value of k is less than one. And value of k is lesser than one. If capital R is radius of Earth. radius of earth the question says for means to find maximum height maximum height attained by the body attained by the body above earth surface So first, try to understand the question. What exactly is given for me, and what is the basic knowledge is which has been coming in your mind to do such type of a problems. The body is being projected vertically above from the Earth's surface with a velocity of your k times of v naught, where v naught is escape velocity, and value of k is lesser than one. The value of k is lesser than one. So if r is the radius of the Earth, find the maximum height attained by the body above your Earth's surface part of the relation. What do you mean by maximum height, beta? What will happen at the maximum height? Which is equals to r. Which is equals to r? Inka kinematics uh, thing change. At highest position, what is becoming zero? When a body is projected from the surface and it reaches to the maximum height, again from there it will be taking U turn and coming to the ground, gada. When it is yes, taking U turn, means for a fraction of a time the velocity at highest position is how much for me? Zero. zero. 
isn't it? So that logic should be there in your mind for doing such type of a problems. Now you can get the answer very easily. Draw the diagram and try to see what is the application you can apply for that one. Yes. Right, Jeno, sir. Okay, sir, one word answer. Logic Japanese and Mikolari. Body has been projected vertically above the Earth's surface. This one. And you are projecting this body from surface of the Earth. Okay. And this is gone to a certain height. This distance is your maximum height. So when I'm using the maximum height means you're going from your surface of your earth to the highest position. So this is your position A and this is your position B. At highest position, velocity at the B will become zero. So you're projecting it with a certain velocity from the ground. What is the velocity with which you have been projecting beta? K times of your velocity. K times of your escape velocity from the earth, from the center. This will be the radius. This will be the radius. There is nothing but capital R. Now tell me what is an escape velocity formula? Yes, sir. What is escape velocity formula? V naught is equal to actually V naught orbital velocity represent just now. When you problem like what V naught and escape velocity to represent just now. So escape velocity formula is how much better? Two times of your capital G capital M divided by your capital R. Purtunda. Yes, isn't it? So if it is going to the maximum height, so apply the energy conservation from your energy conservation. Can you tell me what is the total energy at your A beta? A card on your energy is same energy. So energy apandi total energy at your A. Total energy at your A must be equal to your total energy at your B. Now tell me what is the total energy at your A? Kinetic energy of your A. Kinetic yes, half m yeah. plus potential energy at your A must be equal to your kinetic energy at your B plus potential energy at your B. Yes, sir. Kinetic energy at your A means how much better? Half into m into your velocity. Omega. We come for me k into v naught. V naught square. Plus this one will be equal to what is the potential energy? M into m into g capital M small m divided by on the surface of the Earth property capital R. Yes. Now, at highest position, kinetic energy is zero. But kinetic energy at point B will be zero. Plus, potential energy will be equal to how much better? Potential energy is minus of capital G, capital M, small m, divided by you are going to a certain height. So this R plus H. R plus of H. Logic at the mind. Now, remaining is only simple application. You can try to do it out. Is it a good thing? Next time, the water. So this will become for me this small m, this small m, and this small m will get cancelled. Still anything is getting cancelled better? Still anything is getting cancelled? So this will become for me how much better? K square into your by v naught. into V naught. V naught formula already we know. What v is naught it? square. V naught square means that can be written as of your two times of capital G, capital M, divided by your R. Antena? Yes, sir. Minus this one is your capital G capital M divided by capital R. That is equals to minus of capital G capital M divided by your R plus H. Is it clear? Yeah, I cancel it. Yes. This is like capital GM, this is the GM, and this is the GM gets cancelled. And this will become for me. Is anything else getting cancelled? Yeah, I cancel it. E2, E2 would have a little bit. E2, E2 would have a little bit. Yes, sir. K square by R minus 1 by R. K square by your R minus 1 by your R will be equal to minus of your, this one is nothing but how much for me? 1 by your R plus R of plus. So in this one will become how much for me? K square minus 1 divided by your R is equals to, this one is minus of 1 by your R plus of your H. On a in the H. And from this one, I can write this relation better. Mm, if I take all the H terms and R terms on one side, so this will become for me R plus of your H 
divided by your r is equals to minus of 1 by your uh, k square k minus square minus 1 if i remove this minus sign this can be written as of your 1, one minus k square. k square so in this one this will become for me 1 plus h by your r is equals to 1 by 1 minus of your k square so h value is equals to how much so h value and the h by your r will be equal to your and this is r your by 1 by 1 minus of your k square Minus one, okay? Yes, sir. isn't it? So, h value in the thing, sorry. So, h value will be equal to this, will become for me uh, r k square by r k square yes, divided by one, by one minus k square. K square, achinda? Yes, this will be your h. Other than that, see logic here, one dollar, one thing in list. Law of conservation of mechanical energy applications would have put So this is the way how do we are applying the law of conservation of mechanical energy. Elon the applications would have important for the J means type of an examination. Is it clear? Okay, na? Yes. Learn the model of what is the Yes, sir. Okay, Chinna question is Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Learn the application is to try to use the knowledge which you are having with respect to a little bit of your mechanics. So this is your question. This question says for me that a particle of mass m, a particle of mass m, just tell me an idea. So this is the way how do we need to approach it. Mass m is projected, is projected in transverse direction. In transverse direction. In your transverse direction at a height h at a height h above a point a on earth okay. so what should what should be the value of projection speed value of projection speed projection speed as that the particle will graze will graze along earth surface at the surface tangentially at the surface tangentially at a diametrically at a diametrically opposite point of a so opposite point of a okay i'll give you the diagram this is your earth and this is certain height. From here, a particle is being projected transversely like this with a velocity v. This is at a height of your h. Okay. So this is your radius diameter. This is the center, and this is your point A, and this is your point B. Okay. So this is a question. Not ready to read the question. A particle of mass m is projected in transverse direction at a height h above the point of your e on earth surface what should be the value of the projection speed as that the particle will graze along the surface tangentially at a diametrically opposite point of your b okay question of the main the question of the main particle will what's it say along earth hmm. third line particle will graze Particle Great. will graze along Earth's surface tangentially at a diametrically opposite. And then, you know, the speed the is now, the projectile just said that it is a projectile JC, it will return to the one like the graze of Kunta will have So, when it is getting here right now, what is the velocity? This is the basic condition. I hope you got rough idea now. Yes, have you? Yes, the recent news better that we started going into the spaceship sunny spaceship over the news of sun which are next virgin yes, sir. 
I'll share you with others. You can just search it on YouTube. We'll get an idea right now. Even the one person from uh, India has been gone into that one bit of our spaceships where we started launching and the people can easily go uh, and come back into the space and conditions. Anyhow, I'll share you after this class. You can try to see it out, but it's a good video for the knowledge also. Basically. Can you see this question better? What exactly is telling? A particle of mass M has been projected in a transverse direction at a height h above the point of your A on the Earth's surface. What should be the value of the projection speed as that the particle will graze along the Earth's surface tangentially at a diametrically opposite point? We are talking with respect to the reference of your Earth only. That means we can apply the energy conservation here, beta. We can apply the energy conservation. Now tell me when you are projecting the particle perpendicular to the motion. So velocity into perpendicular distance will give me what beta? Particle is also having the mass m gada. So m into v will be what beta? Momentum? Yes, sir. Isn't it? Momentum into perpendicular distance. Angular momentum gada? Yes, sir. So we are talking yes, about sir. right now by conservation of angular energy. momentum. Right now. So if you are talking about right now, we can conserve the momentum about the center. So when it is right now here, what is the momentum? When it is somewhere here, what is the momentum? So by conservation of momentum, I can say that by conservation of momentum with respect to center beta. So what is the distance from center beta for the first one I can say? Momentum is your m into v into perpendicular distance will become for me how much? R plus h. That must be equal to at point b. Angular momentum at your a must be equal to angular momentum at your b. So it should be equal to your m v1 into R. Can I write like that? Yes. So I can get the V1 value at the time. So what is the value of V1 and what I can get? This small m and this small m will get cancelled. So this will be equal to your V into your R plus H divided by R. R. So this is the velocity at your B. What should be the value of the projection speed? What should be the value of projection speed? That means V should be how much? At, at, a, 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 at a, M plus A. a. At a, above the point of A, we are having a speed of your how much V? V is your projection yes, speed. Right? Yes, sir. So now conserve the energy. So by conservation of M, energy. M1 V1 of R plus H is equal yeah, to M2 V2. Your, R. At your point, that must be equal to how much beta? Half into M into your V square. Kinetic energy. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Then uh, what is the relation between potential energy will be? Capital G, capital M, small m. Divided by your how much? R plus of R M. plus H. That must be equal to at point B half into half M. M B square minus. Then, then this will be minus of your capital G. G M M by R. R. Yes. Sir. We are applying the total energy at your point of your A about your point of your A. I can give some name for this one. Uh, this I'll take it as some P L. So total energy at your P will be equal to your total energy at your B. Okay, now yes, okay, everything you can do it right now. So in this one, what I can take common beta. If I'm taking anything common, see how much I will be getting right now. Half mv one square and half mv n square. So all the capital G capital M terms I can take on one side. And v one terms also. So it is your half into m into your v square. This will become for me how much beta plus or minus a. This v one yes, term I'm taking on this side. Minus, minus. Minus this one is your half into m into v1 v1 square. square. V1 square means this will become for me how much beta? V square into r plus of your h whole square divided by, by r r square. That is equal. So equal m important is this one will become for me minus of your capital G capital M small m divided by your r. Yes, sir. This minus term r this will become for me plus of capital G capital M small m divided by r plus h. h. Then, so in this one, what I can take common? Yes, half into m into v square can I take common? Half m, half m, v square, yes, v square, half one. m, v square is common. So this will be equal to your r one minus. H divided by your r whole square. This will be minus one. And there, so that will be equal to your capital G, capital M, small m here will be common. So this will Late, be sir. one minus r plus h whole square by r square. Yes, then. The 1 minus.
this small m and this small m will get cancelled. So I need the velocity of a projection and a v. This v will be equal to how much? Can you cancel it, sir? So v will be equal to your how much? This is the math. Simplify it. I hope you can do it out right now. Yes, sir. So this is my own side. Try this. So that will give me the answer for this. Okay, no? Yes. So gravitation and thermodynamics. Is there now a test or sir? I will type this. No problem, sir. Okay. Mains model, sir. Yes, sir. Prepare, sir. Prepare, sir. Monday. Prepare, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Y